to my channel. My name is Kina and I thought today we would check out my project pan and see where I'm at with some things um, that I haven't been showing you. I don't know why. Okay, so first of all, this is a brand new Thank Me Later from Elizabeth Mott. I completely finished my other one. It is gone. So this is my new one because I don't know what I did with the other one. I've had it for like eight months and now it's gone. Um, this is completely gone. It is the L'Oreal Revitalift micro blur cream. This stuff is amazing. I really liked it. I will probably buy it again. I really enjoy this. It really hydrates the under eye better than pretty much anything else I've tried so far. Tarte Lash Paint. I love this stuff and I should have used it all up before now, but I got distracted by my Butter London Double Decker Lashes, which really became like a holy grail for me. I ran out of that and so I'm back to using this because there's like just a tiny bit left in it and I love this too. It's hard, right? It's hard. And I know I should have thrown this away before now, but there's not very much left in it and I really like it. So yeah, I'm using that. Okay, this is my Wet n Wild Highlight Contour Stick. Um, as you can see, we are working our way through this in a hurry. There's not much left. I'm going to be done with this before too much longer. Definitely. Tarte Shape Tape. Any way to tell how much you've used? I have no freaking clue. I do know that like my Tarte Shape Tape foundation that I got way after this is about half finished. So I have to assume I'm somewhere near the end of this. This is the Wet n Wild Concealer. That's all I have left. I use this all the time now. I'm so glad I put it in my project pan because it really forced me to start using it. And it turns out I really, really like it. My tardiest dirty pro cloak head is filthy. Look at that. Oh, the poor thing. Um, this packaging is terrible for holding on to, right? I, it's just awful. It gets so dirty. I am doing okay on this. Um, I have some definite dents in a few things. This for sure, and this highlight up here that I love, and the bronzer. Getting there, getting there. I'm not through it, but it's getting there. Okay, so I've misplaced it, but I had the empty, full exposure little mini mascara. I finished that up forever ago. Those, you know, if you use them any at all, they, you can go through them real quick. Which is why I actually don't buy full-size mascara anymore. I buy the minis. BoxyCharm sends me full-size ones, and they've been sending me full-size ones that I love. So I haven't been using my minis, but now I'm getting to the end of the mascaras, the big ones that I've been loving. It's almost the end of this life. I know it. I know I should have got rid of it before now. I just can't do it. I love it so much. So there is one more thing, um, and I'm going to show you this because it's a very similar shade. I kept one of my project pants in my purse because that's the lipsticks that I use the most because I use them when I'm out, and it got lost or stolen. I don't know why anybody would steal a used lipstick, but I don't know how else I would have got it out of my purse. And that was the Tarte Festival lipstick. It is in a shade very similar to this, and I love this shade. I wear this shade constantly. Like, you can actually see where I've like gotten into this one. Well, okay, I shook this up. <laughs> but you can actually see when it's settled that I've actually been using this one and it's like going down because I love it and I use it all the time. And I use the Tarte one all the time, so I'm really bummed that it's now missing and gone, but it's no longer in my purse and I tore my purse completely apart looking for it. So unfortunately that item will no longer be in my project pan, as is the blank palette no longer in the project pan because I bought a new one because I broke the old one. So that sucks. So those two items are out. <laughs> this is where I'm at with the rest of it, plus all the items, and I'll show you a picture of everything I've used up and everything I still have to use. I have those pictures. And you can see how I'm doing and what you think of how I'm doing. I'm getting through the items. I think there were 28 of them. I think I've gotten through at least 12 of them so far. At least 12. And so I'm pretty pretty proud of that. Uh, but I have a long ways to go with a few things. So let me know how you're doing with your project fam because of course using up products you already have is so important. There's no need to go buy new stuff if you have old stuff. You know what I mean. If you have stuff that already works for that or an eyeshadow palette and I'm guilty of this so bad. I see an eyeshadow palette and I love the way it looks and I'm like I have to have that but then I already own 
more than half the shades. What's the point of that? I don't know why I do it. I don't know that I'm going to stop doing it, but <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to get better at it. So I am going on a low buy for the next couple of months. So hopefully all you're going to be seeing from me is either stuff that I've already purchased that I haven't shown you or items from BoxyCharm and Ipsy. Let me know if you think you should do a low buy, no buy or not, along with items that I have to have like sunscreen and all that. There's no point in going without things you have to have. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.